Emma, congrats on making it to the national championship game. Can you take me inside that locker room and what it was like when that buzzer sounded playing for your first national title since uh, 20, 2014? Honestly, it was definitely nerve wracking, but it was just so, the excitement and the adrenaline going into it. I just knew we had it. We'll go to Mark next. Hey, Emma, congratulations. Um, can you uh, describe uh, kind of what got into you guys today? This is a Northwestern team that you hadn't beaten in the tournament. They were undefeated. They scored the first goal, and then you guys came out and just whipped them. Uh, what was what was the mindset going in? Where'd that come from? Honestly, when any, whenever a team, well, first off, it's always exciting to play a new um, opponent. But um, when the first goal went in, it kind of just gave us all, I feel like, some fire and we really wanted to get back, get those goals back and to score three or four more than they could. And I think that's exactly what we did. Sorry, you, you froze up the whole last part of that. Can you repeat what you said? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, when they first um, scored that goal, the first one against us, it kind of like lit a fire underneath us. And I feel like after that happened, we wanted to score three or four more up on them. And that's exactly what happened. We'll go to Anish next. Hi, Emma. Yeah, my question was just about um, your sister's impact, but also just your offensive success. Why do you guys think you guys were able to find so much success inside the eight meter and against a Northwestern offense that only allowed 10 goals per game heading into this game? I really think it's just we all are just very close on the field and off the field. And it's kind of like just playing from, with familiar people. And it's always just nice to be able to play with people that you bond well with. And that connection is, has allowed us to have so much success. And I, it's just so, it's been so much fun to do play with them. Okay, uh, Chris, next. Hey, uh, congratulations on uh, winning this afternoon against uh, Northwestern. What does this mean for the ACC having two ACC schools in the final? Because uh, this conference is uh, very good for lacrosse and people don't give, you know, the ACC any credit. Yeah, it's really exciting, honestly. Um, I love a good ACC matchup, and that's we've been dealing with all these teams this whole year. With everything that's happened, I think we'll, we're going to have a great shot at it, and I'm very excited to fly another ACC team. And if I could follow up, talk about, you know, you guys getting to the final, you know, with your coach who's a legendary, you know, player there at Syracuse, he might be opportunity to get his first title. What do you guys got to do to get that on Sunday for him so you can feel like he got something off his back? I really think we just all have to go in with the mindset that we've been going in with. We just got to play hard, play like we have been, and just go in like a family. Congratulations again. Thank you. We'll go to Connor next. Yeah, what was going on in those conversations after Northwestern's mini run in the second half? They cut the lead to four to three. Uh, what were you guys talking about after that? After that, we were really just talking about playing how we always play. There's, we were getting a little frazzled out there, and I really think we were able to stay composed and get control and um, just go again and just get a few more goals ahead of them and just keep the run going. Okay, and then to Alyssa. Uh, hey, I'm a great game today. So there were a lot of fouls and a lot of Northwestern yellow cards. Um, how does that kind of change the momentum of, of the game and how you guys play your game? It really, whenever a team gets really aggressive, I feel like it makes our team just want it more because we just don't like when our teammates just get attacked and stuff. So um, when that happens, we really just, it, it really like encourages us to get back and just do everything we can to make them regret getting cards. We'll go to Mark for one more question because we want to give Megan Tyrell and Coach Gate a chance. Then we're going to say that's good. Thank you so much. And we can't wait to see you on Sunday. Thank you.